three biggest leadership mistake coaches make and the most important one is the last one that i'm going to talk about so make sure to stay tuned you are listening to the bridging impact podcast transforming leaders on and off the court with host coach Furtado. without further ado let's dive in All right, hello everyone and welcome to Coach's Corner with Coach for Title on the Bridging Impact Podcast Network on Fridays. I talk about what I am learning as a young coach and entrepreneur starting my own youth basketball and leadership program. We're diving into the mistakes that coaches make and the number one is not staying true to their word. So what do I mean by that? Let's say that, you know, I'm going to threaten, right? I'm going to say, hey, if you shoot after I say, you know, after I blow the whistle, we're all going to run. And I watch someone shoot and I don't, I don't hold them accountable. What is going to happen? Well, guess what? I'm going to have a team that doesn't t- hold our, themselves accountable because I'm not holding them accountable. I'm not staying true to my word. And staying true to your word is something that is going to follow you for life. And, you know, the theme that I will show throughout this, and, and I'm sure you know, you've heard it from before, you know, like, hey, coach, I'm going to work so hard this summer or you know the biggest one that I've seen and for the coaches that are listening and watching and if you're a trainer you know you, you want to start your own business and you're, you're super into it you're like yeah I want that entrepreneurship I want that freedom and then you start coming to these roadblocks like shoot man it's expensive to find a gym it's hard to get insurance you know I've seen so many people that they say they're gonna do something but they don't do it and so if you say what you if you do what you say you're gonna do you're gonna separate yourself from 90% of the people and that's fact. And so number two, the biggest, second biggest mistake that I see is expecting your athletes, your team, if you're a leader, if you expect someone to do it, you better be able to do it yourself. And so I'm actually gonna make fun of myself because I was not following through with my values earlier this week. I'm a big believer in communication. Communication is the foundation to all great relationships all great teams and so this week you know at our session i have you know built great great relationships with athletes where they are allowed to give me feedback and so you know we were going running through a drill it was like a two-on-two drill where i was the passer i was passing it to the players who were open all right and so i made a pass and this teammate was confused this athlete was confused about who i made that pass to and Right after that, one of, you know, the other, a different athlete, you know, one of the leaders in the group, he was like, yo, coach, you got to communicate. You got to, you got to follow through and do what you say you're going to do. And that was like that big aha moment that they are watching every single moment, right? And and we're coaches. We're not, we're we're human. We're not going to be perfect. So I'm like, yeah, you're right. You know? And so I just started being like, hey, you know, Jimmy, here, pass is coming to you. Hey, Rob, pass is coming to you. And so making sure that I communicate, I have to role model the way. If I expect my team to communicate, then I better be a dang good communicator. If I expect my team to be giving out high fives and bringing out great energy, well, shoot, I better do that as a coach because you have to model the way if you are a coach. And then the number three, the biggest mistake that I see is not following through and staying true to your values. So what do I mean by staying true to your values? Very similar to following through with your word and expecting to do it, but what is most important, right, is when we aren't following through with our values, our team is going to be confused. When our team is confused, we're not building trust. Clear, crystal clear communication builds trust because it's simple, it's digestible, and we understand it aligns. When we start to make decisions that don't make sense with what coach told us, you know, that's when as a player, I'm going to be confused. So let's go through and talk about the importance of communication. All right. So communication when it comes to communicating our values. So let's say here, this is a great one. This is a really easy example. And I'm sure as a coach, you're going to face this as well. I am, we have a huge game coming up, right? Huge game coming up. And one of my values, let's say, you know, it might be one of your values too. Academics, having high character in the class, high standards. 
and our best player is goofing around in class. He's he's not messing he, or he's messing around. He's not taking class seriously. He's he's being a disruption. Well, that's not according to our values for our team, right? So let's say we have a um, procedure where if you're messing around with a class and I'm contacted by a teacher, you have to miss the first half of a game. Well, shoot, it's the biggest game of the season. We're playing this coach I got a rivalry with. I want to beat him so bad, and I need that best player because we, we might not be deep enough. Well, that comes to a great question. How strong are your values? How important is it that you want to teach these young men, young women, young people life lessons that will carry with them? So these life lessons, am I going to choose the athlete who was messing around in class? Am I going to start him? Or am I going to stay through, follow through with what I said I'm going to do with the core value of character and academics? And that's a decision that we are all faced with during a season. We're faced with it during a training session, right? We have to stay true to our standards and to our values because when we stick, we follow through. That's how our athletes learn. And this is something that I want to continue to get better at, holding athletes, continuing to hold them accountable for their actions. Because guess what? What happens in the real world when they don't follow through with their word? Ah, it doesn't matter. Coach didn't care back in the day, so why should I care? You know that I don't follow through. Why should I care that you know I, I cheat on a test in, in college or, or whatever it may be, right? Our standards that we hold them to now are the life lessons that they're going to hold themselves to throughout their entire life, and that is the importance. That is the utmost importance. We are role models. We can have such a big influence, and this is this is a big one for me. Is encouragement is great. But we got to have truth over harmony. Mm -hmm. And one of the most important roles of a coach is redirection. And that's the biggest challenge with a lot of the current generation uh, of coaching models. Like we really, we got completely away from Bobby Knight, which is good. I don't think throwing chairs at people is really going to help athletes grow. But one of the things that we need to do as coaches and, and as teachers is continue to make sure that we redirect and that accountability is important. You know, we can't have it all be sun, 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 sunshine and rainbows because that's not life, right? It's not life if we are always, you know, getting positive reinforcement, right? Positive reinforcement is great. I'm a big believer in that. I'm a very, very positive coach. And one of my, you know, biggest areas of growth is, is being on, on top of people. Right, my natural state is to kind of be only positive, right? And I have to remind myself that it's an important role, just like it is an important role for you to hold your athletes accountable. They need to learn how to have that self responsibility. It's going to take them so much further in life than you think. And so, I really appreciate you all for listening to this episode. Send it to a coach or a friend that you feel like this episode would be helpful for if they're a teacher or a mentor. Teachers, mentors, that's how we influence the next generation of people. That's how we integrate it. And this is something that we can include into our programs, into our businesses. You know, I, I really focus on trying to make an, an influence and impact as many kids as I can. So on Friday, this is for the coaches and for the parents that are wanting to listen and wanting to understand how can I make the biggest possible impact on my athlete as a leader. That's the importance of these episodes. So I appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe. Leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. And I will be in your eyes and ears next week with another great interview episode on Wednesdays and Fridays. I drop Coach's Corner. If you're a hooper, you're listening to this on Mondays, I drop content for on the YouTube channel for underestimated hoopers. For now, stay, stay awesome, stay positive. Coach Furtado out. I need, I need a new signature. If you, you know, reach out to me. What should my signature be? I like Coach Furtado out, but you know, I need something cool. So, peace out, y'all.